You know what's more fun than losing one Senate race? Maybe losing two. Roy oh Roy. Roy Moore is running for the Senate again. Which is an absolute dumpster fire scenario for Senate Republicans who are trying to keep their majority next November. Can I win? Yes, I can win. Not only can I, they know I can. That's why there's such opposition. Now, after Moore's problematic run for Senate in a 2017 special election, which he lost to Democrat Doug Jones, there might be more than one reason both Democrats and people from Moore's own party aren't exactly thrilled by his decision to run. A quick refresher on that race. Alabama Republican Senator Jeff Sessions left the seat he'd held since the 90s to be President Trump's Attorney General. Open seat was created. Moore was already a known commodity in the state, and he had served as Chief Justice on the state Supreme Court not once, but twice. He was removed from the job the first time because he refused to take down a display of the Ten Commandments from the court building. He won the job back a few years later, but was suspended again because he decided he wasn't going along with the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling on same-sex marriage. Mm. You would think Moore, then, would be a shoo-in in a state that is almost 50% evangelical and heavily Republican. The last time the state had elected a Democratic senator, by the way, 1992. Donald Trump had won Alabama in 2016 by 27 points. Then allegations of sexual misconduct and assault surfaced when women came forward saying Moore had pursued sexual relationships with them when they were teenagers and he was in his 30s now. Important sidebar, Moore repeatedly denied all of the allegations against him and even blamed the media for them. He later sued three of the women, alleging a political conspiracy. That legal fight is still ongoing. And important sidebar. Moore lost to Jones, his Democratic opponent in that race, by two points. It was, by all accounts, a disastrous campaign run by a deeply out-of-touch and deluded candidate who simply refused to acknowledge the deep depths of his political flaws, which everyone in the Republican Party now acknowledges, except Roy Moore and his very committed group of supporters. Now Roy has decided that the already crowded 2020 Republican Senate field needs some more. Some more. Hominem. That's a field that includes a state representative, a former Auburn University football coach, and U.S. Congressman Bradley Byrne. Which brings us to the nub of this Republican nightmare. Moore could, emphasis on could, actually win the Republican primary. A victory that would likely, again, cost Republicans a Senate seat they absolutely on paper should hold. The number one goal of the Republicans in the 2020 Senate races is to keep Democrats from making a gain of three seats if Democrats win the White House, or four if they don't. Taking back a seat in the Deep South and pushing the Democrats one seat further from that gain should be a no-brainer. Recent history, though, speaks to Republicans' problem. In the 2017 race, Moore knocked off appointed Senator Luther Strange in the special Republican primary, despite the fact that Strange had the support of, among others, Trump and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Now, McConnell and others warned Alabama Republicans that nominating the deeply divisive Moore, and this was before the allegations of sexual misconduct emerged, was a major risk for the party, and one that could mean they would lose the seat. Hmm. Moore's voters didn't care. They had been with him since, or honestly probably before, his time on the state Supreme Court. His supporters viewed him as a warrior against PC culture, against the political elites, and against liberals in Washington. That Trump and McConnell wanted the guy he was running against played perfectly into the us-against-the-world mentality that Moore has always cultivated. Now, none of that reality, or very little of it, has changed for Roy Moore 2020. Losing to Jones might have increased his supporters' passion even, proving in their minds that the establishment would do whatever it took to keep Moore from office. And they may well relish another chance to show Republican bigwigs in Washington exactly what they think of them. Now, National Republicans, led again by McConnell, understand the threat that Moore poses to their chances of beating Jones. Donald Trump Jr., who's no moderate in anyone's eyes, put it this way when he responded to Moore's likely candidacy on Twitter back in May. Quote, You're literally the only candidate who could lose a GOP seat in pro-Trump, pro-USA Alabama, Trump Jr. tweeted in part, adding, Running for office should never become a business model. If you actually care about MAGA more than your own ego, it's time to ride off into the sunset, judge. End quote. A Trump senior, aka the president, remember who endorsed Moore after his primary victory in 2017, of course, 
offered his own thoughts on all of this. Quote, Republicans cannot allow themselves to again lose the Senate seat in the great state of Alabama, Trump tweeted. This time it will be for six years, not just two. I have nothing against Roy Moore, and unlike many other Republican leaders, wanted him to win. But he didn't, and probably won't. End quote. Despite those warnings, maybe even because of those warnings, Moore is running again. And Republicans need to hope like hell he doesn't win the nomination again. If he does, the party can likely say so long to the seat for six more years. And that is the point. We make New Point episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Check them all out.